Hey everybody, in this episode, you are making a train track. It looks like this, and so that you can attach them together by just putting them together like this, and then you can drive your Thomas the Train on the tracks. Uh, so let's get started. Hit Create, hit Document. Make sure you're in your train folder, by the way. Type track and then your initials on who, for whoever's working on it. This is going to be the only part that's actually made out of wood, but you're going to do that in the end. So I'm going to build it right on my top plane. I'm going to turn off my front and my right plane for now. Go ahead and hit sketch and go on the top plane. I'm going to flip it so I'm looking down on this and grab the, um, I'm going to go center point rectangle. So I'm going out and I'm going like this. Um, all right. Next thing I'm going to do is grab some dimensions and I want the width of this to be 12 inches. Holy cow, I gotta zoom out now. I want the height of this um, to be 3.4 inches and it should be centered right on there. So that's gonna be our, our reference for a lot of this. Okay, let's go uh, grab a circle. And I'm going to hover over this, and I'm going to go slightly to the right, and, and I want to keep that dotted line because I want to draw a circle over here. And I want the center of this circle from the right side line uh, to be one inch. And I want the size of that circle or the diameter of that circle to be 0.75 times two, there we go. And I want to make, uh, first of all, I guess I, I need to continue doing by location, dimension by location, and oh, my dimension turned off. So if I grab the center of that, the center of that, it should be 1.7 and it grays out because we kept it for, uh, even with this horizontal line. All right, the next thing I wanna do is grab a rectangle, but I wanna change it back to a corner rectangle. And I wanna go so even with, with this vertical line through the center and go to the right side endpoint. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it a little bit cleaner and clearer for you and me. Um, let's grab the dimension tool. And we want, we want here to here to be uh, 0.325. We want the total height of this to be 0.65. So it's about half of that. Grab the scissors and we're gonna trim some of this away. We're gonna take off this part of the circle we're gonna take off this end line. I think you gotta clip that twice for it to disappear. Uh, we're gonna click away here, 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 and, and here. This is going to be this empty spot right there. Now, on the other side, we're gonna add this part. So, double clicking my mouse, and if you guys haven't started using your mouse um, in the classroom, it's a game changer. All right. Let's grab uh, the center point again, I'm sorry, the center circle and hover from this center point. You can see I've got that dotted line that's being created and I'm going to draw a circle. And I want to locate the center of that circle from this line to also be an inch away. So they line up. I want the size of that to be slightly larger than the diameter of, um, of the other one. And so I want this to be 1.4 inches. Um, so I've got that, I've got the height location because it's 1.7. And now we need to grab the uh, rectangle again. And again, I'm keeping with the corner rectangle. I'm gonna start I'm going to start here and I'm going to go to about here. Let's zoom in so we can get some dimensions here. So dimension 
from the center of this to here, I want that to be 0.3, and I want the other side to be 0.3, so it's centered. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the trim tool, and we want to trim that away, and just that section and that section if you did it. We want to keep this, so um, let's see, I can trim that, and there, and there, and there, and there. All right, so, okay, so I wanted to, I did want to click that. All right, so now, we are finished with the sketch. Go ahead and click extrude. Click on that. And I think the best way to look at it is by an isometric view. And you've got it one inch up. Mine defaulted correctly, so it's supposed to be one inch. And now let's add the train track going down the middle. So I'm going to click on this end right here. Let's start a sketch on this end. And I'm going to zoom in here. Grab a rectangle start right on the top here and go down to my left and we need to dimension the height of this is going to be oh shoot I didn't mean, mean to do that the height of this is going to be 0.1875 the distance from the right side to the edge of it is 0.1875 Four. and the distance of this section is 0 0.350. Go ahead and change that to isometric because we want to finish that. We want to extrude. We've got to click on that little box that you clicked on that you just made and we want to remove and we want to change it from blind to up to next. And for me, that takes it the whole way. I want to turn back on my front view because now you can see that kind of goes right through the middle of this. I'm going to grab my mirror tool, which is right there. And I want to mirror a feature, the feature we just made, that track line right there. And I'm going to mirror it on the, which mirror plane? Well, I want it on this front plane. Look at that, it just adds it right there. And voila, we are almost done. Um, my only suggestion now is to make this wood. So go ahead and right click on your part. Go to assign material. In the none section, you can go to wood. And we can make this awesome wood. And hit your green checkbox. Okay, you can then go ahead and change the color of it to wood or really any color that you want. I'm going to turn off my views um, right there. And we have it all done. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.